Robins Division this week. Martin Allen on The Wonder of Elvis. David Bird on Memories of Rotherham. And Andy Galliner on the versatility in the squad. With striker Elvis Hammond set to return from injury to the starting lineup against Rotherham this weekend, here's Martin Allen on the difference the Ghanaian international can make to the side. Well, he was on fire in pre-season and came in and I'm not sure exactly how many goals it was he scored in so many games. Um, but uh, he's a good player. And... Uh, and again, it's credit to all the other players when you've got people like uh, Oliver Basanic, uh, Elvis Hammond, Michael Pook and Shane Duff all out injured that we're still picking up results. And uh, not sure the, the group at the moment have got enough credit for that, to be honest. Some of those players that perhaps on the periphery have stepped into the team and some of the players actually within the team have had to be moved around and adjusted and they've adapted without any problems. Justin Richards playing on wings, Josh Lowe playing in fullback, David Bird playing at fullback. It's really been uh, last week in the second half because it was so hot. We had to keep giving our forwards a rest because they were going, having to go out and play on the left wing. We had to keep rotating them to give them a rest and play up front. And that's a fact because uh, they're too old to play uh, high tempo like we do for the full 95 minutes. And thankfully, Barry had had his rest on the left, came back up front and notched that magical little winner. Yeah, have you given him a new nickname this week for that burst of pace? <laughs> well, I called him after the game Eugene Bolt. Um, let's hope he hasn't. Uh, he's not shot Bolt. But there we go. Yeah, you mentioned Elvis. He, he, uh, I spoke to him in the summer. He said never played in League Two before. Didn't know what to expect. And he had a great start. And because of his age, I mean, he's, he's, him and Justin Richards are sort of 28, 29 should be in their prime. Really, they're the players that you said you can't afford a three grand a week striker who's going to get 20. But they're the ones you look to. You know, should be scoring, racking up quite a few goals in this division. Well, they both have. Elvis was what three and four. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure what it was, but he was, he was looking sharp as a razor. And Justin has uh, you know, proved to be a, a more than adequate uh, sidekick. Uh, Emil Heskey type, maybe not ever pleasing to the eye, but certainly does a great job for the team. And, um, but we've also got, obviously, as we know, Allsop and uh, Hales. And we've got a young boy coming through called Theo Lewis as well. He's been doing very, very well. So we've got a nice little group patched together and uh, competition for places is, uh, is red hot. Uh, David Bird, yeah, I remember David Bird when he was uh, 15, he was playing for Sinderford. I went down and watched one of their youth games one night and just spoke to his dad and he said, that's our David midfield and I thought, crikey, when I played at Sinderford he was down here. So uh, I said, well, we'll get him over to Cheltenham then. And, uh, I got him off the Bourne side school when we were doing the academy when he had in the 17 side then. And uh, I signed him on then for the youth side. And uh, not realising that Chris Smith, the Sinford manager, was best friend of Steve Cottrell, who then got in touch with Steve Cottrell and I had a bit of earache on the phone. But it didn't bother me because, like I said, I think uh, I'm doing the kid a favour by trying to get him into a professional football career and playing football for a living. And I don't think he's ever looked back because... Uh, He'd had some good youth team games and he got put into the first team by Bobby Gold. I think it was Huddersfield. I think it was Huddersfield and he's, uh, I think he played right back that day and he's done ever so well. He's been part of the first team squad ever since. And uh, I don't think you get many bad games out of David Bird. He's Mr Steady Eddie. He'll always give you above average to very good games. And he doesn't usually have any poor ones. And uh, I think uh, he's done ever so well for the football club and he's one of the lads you want to see around here all the time because he always give you 100%. And I think he's one of the fans' favourites now anyway. So uh, I might have done him a favour when I signed him when he was 15. What do you remember about the last time you played Rotherham? Because that was a significant day for Cheltenham at their place, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good day. Um, obviously, there's a lot on the game. Um, I think we started very poorly that game, um, what I can remember. Then um, we may have snuck one end the first half. I think Kane might have scored. Um, then Gilly come into his own. And um, in the end, it was a very good day for us um, to stay in the league um, and uh, had a good celebration with that but um, yeah I think times have moved on now so um, it's going to be a tough game we know that and we just got to go in and play basically. You've been involved in a few sort of days like that where the club's uh, broken new ground and you're trying to do that again this season because the club's never gone up automatically as a football league club is that something you'd like to, to try and achieve this season for the first time? Yeah it is um, obviously we've been out through playoffs before twice um, it would be nice to go up automatically um, that's, that's what we should be aiming for. Um, where we are now, we're in a good position to kick on. Um, obviously, Christmas coming up is going to be a big period um, to see where you are this time in January, see where you could be pushing on to. 
Um, but yeah, it would be nice to go through that. Yeah, and when you sort of get moved around, you spoke about earlier, do you, do you find it easy to, to just adapt to going in at right back or centre midfield? Do you feel like you need to run the games in there to start doing your best form? Um, probably, yeah. Um, like I said, the injuries are causing problems at the moment, but um, yeah, you, to get going, I've always said you need to be playing week in, week out, in, obviously in one position if it can, if it can be. But um, yeah, I don't mind it, but it would be nice just to get get a run in the in the team at one position. Yeah, very much so, both in the playoffs last year and we won there. I mean, that, does that give you belief when you draw with Dagenham? We had a great start, so, so you keep the belief going and you know, you can, there's nothing to really scared off in this division. Yeah, exactly. Um, we're just going out. We know it's all about us. Um, if we play well, we could beat anybody. That's all. I think that's all for it. The league. Um, anybody could beat anybody in this league, um, but it tends to get whoever goes on the best run would tend to do well. So um, hopefully it could be us. Who? Andy Gallagher? Nah, not having him. He thinks he's Kurt Cobain. Absolute tramp. What do you say, Mister Goff? I'm keeping right out of it, bruv. Oh, you know what I mean? This is me, uh, this... They might think you're me talking. Yeah, see, and I'll, I'll take the game for this. Yeah. My name's Alan Goff, right? Andy Gallen, that is having, you're listening to his interview now, right? He has the worst haircut, the worst clothes. He walks around thinking he's Andy Gallen. We think it's Gallagher out of Shameless. He's an absolute tramp, that man. Hey, do you readers out there? Keep watching. You know what I mean? Jules. Yep. Anyway, this is uh, Julian Allsop, 10 past 2 at Seasons Training Ground. <laughs> cheers, cheers, brother. Alan Goff. Because <laughs> um, of the sort of player you are and the role you've been asked to do in the field, does that result of the Berry and the result of Rochdale, does that give you extra satisfaction because you're sort of battling 1 0 wins, nicking wins at the end with the solid door round performance? Of course it does, yeah. Um, you know, playing at the back as well before, a clean sheet is a great feeling than probably scoring because uh, it gives you a chance of winning the game. And, and like, you know, we've got the likes of Barry Ailes, Justin, um, Sam Denton, and Jules that can all nick goals uh, as long as you know as well as all the, the other players like Hudson and that so if we keep a clean sheet then you've got more a chance than winning the game so yeah it's a good feeling You're one of the select group players who started all nine games so far is that I mean you've, you've had a lot of taste of first team seasons before but is this yeah. the first time you think you, you're really you know you're going to be on the hopefully on the team sheet every week like regular um, you know as long as I put my hard work in on the training grounds and work hard on the Saturday you know, I will be fighting for a, hopefully fighting for a place. So, um, yeah, it's been a, a good start in that sense. But you know, I've still got a, a lot more to show, and hopefully, I can kick on and get a bit more. Is there anything in particular you think you need to do a bit more of, or that you're sort of working on to improve your? I'm working, working on all you know all aspects of my game. So, if, you know, I can only improve and hopefully get better on the pitch. I touched on it earlier. Do you think because you've gone down a division, the teams are coming to to one road and being a bit more? maybe not being adventurous as they were in League 1 that's why you find it a bit harder to break them down um, I think that's just the, the nature of the League 2 it's a bit more um, come and beat us if you can sort of thing so it's it's, it's a hard one to say um, I think it's just everyone's going to come with that aspect like try and beat us so as long as we can stay compact and not concede many goals then you know we, we fancy our chances of winning For all the latest on Cheltenham Town, visit thisisglossenshire.co.uk and read the Echo every day, apart from Sundays. This is Eugene Palmer for Robin's Division of Season Training Ground.